here are a few helpful hints. The first one is that the letter sounds need to be known so well that the response is fluent and automatic, and that is whether the children are reading them, such as g, a, t, d, f, or writing them from dictation, a, h, And that same fluency is needed for blending and segmenting words. But for some children, that can take longer to achieve. The children who are slower to learn these skills just need more practice than the others. Now for the second hint, when blending a word that has a double letter, it is only necessary to say the sound once. For example, when blending the word rabbit, say r a b i and not r a b b it. And the same with duck, d a k, and not d a k k. And for hint three, encourage the children not to be afraid of reading longer words. Just model the blending by rolling along the word from left to right. For example, up set, up set, or Trumpet. Trumpet. Now for the fourth hint, there are many words in English that have a pronunciation that is close but not absolutely accurate. For example, this word when blended would say puppet, but we usually say puppet. If the word was in the children's vocabulary, they would easily adjust their pronunciation. It would not be a problem. The children who'd never heard the word before would need more guidance. And for hint number five, the letter sounds a, e, i, o, a are known as short vowels. And it is worth telling the children that these are special letter sounds and are called short vowels. At this stage, they will not mean a great deal to the children, but they become useful later on. And for the sixth hint, it is possible to successfully teach reading before writing. However, my preference is to teach the two skills together. This enables the children to understand how the alphabetic code works for reading and writing and that they are the reverse of each other. Now, with writing, the aim is to put something down on paper for it to be read at some stage by yourself or by someone else. You start with a blank sheet of paper. You know in your head what you want to write. For example, at this early stage, a word like flag. You can hear the sounds, f, l, a, g, and you write letters for those sounds. F, l, a, g. And that is how the code works for writing. But for reading, you don't hear anything, but you see the word. The word is in front of you and may not be known. You then have to look at the letters, say the sounds for the letters, blend them and listen for the word. Flag. Flag. And that is the reversibility of the alphabetic code and how it works for reading and writing. And for the seventh and last hint, it is still important to continue to develop the children's language skills and spoken vocabulary through conversations, explaining meanings of words and being read stories at home and at school. Looking at books is great fun for children. What we try and avoid is expecting them to read books that have words with letter sounds that have not been taught because this prevents them from decoding those words and this causes some children to lose faith in the blending and they start to guess words. And guessing words is a sign that reading problems are developing. It is something that should be prevented from the beginning. If it becomes a habit, it is very difficult to get rid of it. So, in conclusion, let us remind ourselves of the aims in step one. They are to teach each child the 18 letter sounds. K, m, e, f, a. To read words that use the 18 letter sounds, bin, rug, cat, 
And if they're not sure, l o g log. To write the 18 letter sounds from dictation with correct formation and a good pencil grip, so a, i, h. And lastly, to write words that use the 18 letter sounds. So if they wanted to write the word peg, they need to be able to hear p, e, g, peg. Gradually, the children learn the blending and segmenting skills. Some children, from the beginning, find it extremely easy. Most children gradually learn to do it. And some children find it very difficult. And the reasons why some children find it difficult are explained in the section Help with Reading and Writing Problems, which is on the home page. And that concludes the teaching in Step 1. Thank you.